What's going on YouTube? Chris and Kevin from Chicago back again to talk about one of our favorites, Ethos. Ethos just put out a new video outlining some of the updates with their Genesis release of their app. This is really exciting because it's leading up to their launch and people are actually able to see what the system is going to look like and we took a few thoughts away from it. So we wanted to make a video to show you guys what we're talking about and, and just give our thoughts on it. Yeah. So the first thing we saw in the video was the kind of creation uh, of, of a wallet and the creation in particular of a smart key. So the smart key is a term that they've been throwing around for a long time and it's the key that kind of secures your account, uh, secures all of your wallets rather, that you open up within, within the app. And uh, it was kind of cool what we were able to see in the video. Um, they do a nice, nice job of kind of prompting the user with uh, some text to let them understand what they're doing um, and, and have them understand the security impl implications of what they're doing. So keep their passphrase uh, very secure, uh, their 24 word passphrase rather very secure that gets created. Um, so basically we see these, uh, the, these text prompts uh, given to the user and then the actual generation of the passphrase happens uh, the user has to shake the app, and based upon how the user shakes the app, and the assumption is every user should shake it a little bit differently, um, the passphrase is generated. Uh, like we said, it's a 24-word passphrase, and they they make you write it down or, or secure it in some place, because then after that gets generated, they test you on it. So they ask you for three different uh different passphrases and in particular they ask you from different locations so so the passphrase generates 24 words each of which are in order so sometimes they'll ask you for like word 2 word 10 and word 17 and you have to enter in the right ones otherwise they're gonna not let you go on to the next the next step because you didn't you weren't secure enough you didn't actually write down your passphrase to use in other spots so anyways I thought it was a real nice uh, implementation of the whole thing uh, made it very user friendly, and I, I think it'll open it up and, and make people feel good about what they're doing essentially um, going forward. Um, after that, though, we did see the actual like creation of wallets where you would put your coins, and also what they're calling watch folios, which is like their watch list thing. Um, what did you take away from that? How did you like what we saw there? Yeah, it made it really easy, and I think that's what's intimidating to a lot of people about setting up a wallet is that it's kind of scary. It's really important. you got to make sure everything is you know checked and balanced, but they make it easy, and the, the visuals of the app make it look like as simple as setting up any other like online banking or anything like that. It's, right. it's very simple. It looks great, and they use color coordination to show you, you know, different aspects of the app, like when coins you're watching are are in the green or in the red, everything's gonna to change to match that color. They have some really nice visual graphs. Um, and then when you go to send you know, from one person to the next, it's a very similar look to what we see in all those other you know, websites and different uh, exchanges, but they make it simple. You know, Tap this button, boom, you've got your, your, UR co your QR code, you've got your address displayed. It's really simple to send and receive. So it's going to make new users, you know, comfortable using that space. Right. Yeah. I mean, um, to, to add a little bit more to the sending, um, we did see that they allow the users to select what their fees are going to be for the transfer. So on a lot of the different blockchains, what they do is they allow you to set what is like a priority for your transaction. And a lot of the times people are oblivious to this actually, because a lot of wallets and a lot of programs when it comes to uh, transferring coins kind of abstracts this away from the user, which is probably not the right approach. And the reason for that is because the blockchains allow you to put a priority on your transaction. So, so for example, you might, you might want to transfer your crypto uh, very fast. So you want it to be, uh, you want it to be transferred to somebody's wallet or maybe to one of your own wallets, uh, within a couple seconds, maybe minutes, let's say. But the the network itself is, is very congested, a lot of people on it. So what you could do is you could pay a higher fee so that way your transaction gets mined faster and so it gets processed faster 
but again, you have to pay a higher fee. Now, sometimes uh, the opposite of that's true, where you don't care how long it takes for your transaction to, to go through. You just want it to go through sometime within the next couple of days. So you might you might want to pay virtually no fee um, and save yourself a couple a couple cents, a couple dollars, whatever it may be, and uh, be okay waiting. Um, so Ethos is actually has built in that ability for the user to select their fees. Um, Ethos takes no fee off the top. These are these are only the fees that are uh, required for the network itself for the blockchain and the miners on that blockchain. Um, so Ethos isn't stepping in in any way. They aren't scalping anything off the top or anything like that. Uh, but but they do allow you to select your fee. Uh, it was it was real easy what we saw in the app. I think there were three different options that they gave. They also said that they were building in a, a custom option so you could be even more uh, precise in what you wanted to select. Um, but I thought that that was really nice to see them to add that because a lot of times, you know, you don't want your crypto to, to get a little bit siphoned off the top each time you transfer it. Um, so this is a real nice way to kind of prevent that. They were saying other universal apps, and this is true, will sometimes have just like a base fee one solid fee. Uh, sometimes maybe it's a percentage of what you're transferring. Sometimes just a base fee of let's just say like uh, 0.1 ether. I, that, that's very high. That's not that's not any of the fees I would imagine. But um, it's nice to see that that option uh, that they're giving people. Um, outside of that, uh, we did see a lot of the kind of visuals of the app as well as the community. Uh, portion that they've built in. So they built in a, their first kind of community portion of the app. We've talked a lot about this before. Uh, they're definitely looking to pull a lot of information from the community, uh, but we saw the first little piece of that. What, what were your kind of takes on the visual aspect as well as the community? It looks a lot like you're rating an app in the App Store um, or the Google Play Store. So it's going to be common for people who are new to the space to understand how to to rate these and they they give a few different categories to rate but what really stood out to me was that they mentioned a few times around that part of the video that they want to use that to help build that guru network we talked about that in one of our first uh, ethos videos but having um, crypto experts and people who are familiar with the space go in there and give ratings reviews give information to people who need the help with making these decisions and building their portfolio it looks great, you know, and all the different pieces that we walked through so far, the biggest takeaway for me has been that they take a lot of complicated things and they make it easy for you to understand while still giving you the relevant information. They're not hiding anything, but they're translating it to um, visual poppy graphics really easy and it gives people more confidence in what they're doing. Right. Yeah, no, I think that's a good point. I think that's a good point. I did, uh, I did like what I saw in terms of uh, the visuals really help kind of drive that usability for the for the user. Um, makes them feel comfortable, I would say. So uh, in particular, they talked about, too, what's coming up next. Um, there's, there's a lot of speculation in terms of, okay, when is this thing actually going to release? Uh, and people are going to get their hands on it, be able to play with it, finally use it, things like that. And they're pretty much at the point where they're just, they're polishing it up. Um, we could see in the demo there were a couple little visual defects, uh, a couple little loading screens that they probably have yet to, to fully finalize, things of that nature, all simple stuff. Uh, <clears throat> the biggest things that they need to work on, though, that they've said is their scalability and their security, especially when they talk about really rolling this thing out globally. So they talked about, you know, kind of doing soft launches in, in countries one at a time. Uh, but in particular, before they get to that launch point, they want to make sure that they're able to scale to the user numbers that, that they and everyone else really expects. So it'll be interesting to see how long it takes them to get comfortable uh, and really reach those performance metrics that they've laid out for themselves. But they, they've been very adamant that they're only going to release it when it's ready. So it, it might take a little while, uh, maybe a little bit longer than people think. And the market may react to that negatively, but I think in the end, uh, it's going to be worth the wait for everybody, especially from what we saw saw today. Um, so I'm I'm real real excited to see that, and real excited to finally get my hands on on that final that final product. So 
Um, but anyways, thanks guys for watching. Uh, we're really excited to get our hands on the actual Ethos Universal Wallet. Hopefully it's soon, uh, but only time will tell. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to the video and check us out for more.